Thousands of mentally disabled immigrants are entangled in deportation proceedings each year with little or no legal help, leaving them distraught, defenseless, and detained as their fates are decided. Their plight is detailed in a report issued by Human Rights Watch and the American Civil Liberties Union, who exhort federal authorities to do better. Shortcomings outlined by the two groups include no right to appointed counsel, inflexible detention policies, insufficient guidance for judges on handling people with mental disabilities, and inadequately coordinated services to aid detainees while in custody. The report's lead author, Sarah Mehta, said, quote, No one knows what to do with detainees with mental disabilities, so every part of the immigration system has abdicated responsibility. The result is people languishing in detention for years while their legal files and their lives are transferred around or put on indefinite hold. The report, entitled Deportation by Default, documents cases of non-citizens who could not understand questions, were delusional, couldn't tell the date or time, and didn't understand the concept of deportation. For example, saying they wanted to be deported to New York. Meta said, quote, someone who doesn't know their own name or what country they're from is going through some of the most complicated legal proceedings in the United States with no right to assistance, even when everyone in the courtroom knows they need it. The new report urges Congress to require appointment of lawyers for all people with mental disabilities in immigration courts. It recommends mandatory training for immigration judges to recognize mental disabilities and calls for repeal of a regulation allowing a mentally disabled detainee to be represented in court by the warden of the detention facility.